Good morning. Welcome to the Prayer and Reflection Time. Today I'm trying something a little different with our format. If you enjoy this new format, please let me know and we can try to work on it again in the future. So on to our Prayer and Reflection Time. I had a root canal about a week before I started recording this. For a while, I had a cavity in one of my teeth that had broken open. Every once in a while, it did hurt a little bit, but for the most part, it was just irritating. I finally set an appointment and had hoped that all I needed was a crown, possibly maybe just a filling if I was lucky. It turns out that cavity was worse than I had thought, and I actually needed a root canal. The thing about getting a crown, and especially root canals, is that it is a painful process. Even though the area around the tooth is numbed for the procedure, after the numbing fades and the pain from the drilling and moving around of the gums and stuff, it just really starts to hurt. In fact, I found that the pain after the procedure was worse than what I was having before when I decided to call the dentist. That pain is a natural part of the procedure to replace that damaged portion of tooth. In a similar way, as we grow in our spiritual walk, and especially as we are disciplined to grow out of our sins, we will go through pain. But that pain is a necessary part of our spiritual development. Hebrews 12:11 says, No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. The process is painful, but we should not shy away from it. My tooth would have gotten a lot worse leading to more pain and other serious problems in my mouth. Our sin can be the same way. It only grows worse unless we confess it and repent from it. So today as we pray, first, confess your sins. Confess what you have been struggling with especially, the things which are holding you back in your relationship with God. Then, pray for discipline. Pray to be trained away from your sinful habits and to grow in righteousness. And also, pray for the endurance to go through the discipline process. Do not turn back to your sins once again. Will you please pray with me? Lord, I thank you for this day that we can come together and worship you, but also that we have the privilege of being under your discipline. As Hebrews says, discipline is not pleasant, but painful. Lord, I pray that we each confess our own sins. Lord, I confess my own sins that I have struggled with and am struggling with. But Lord, I pray for your discipline. Discipline to train me back to the way I should be living. To turn me away from these sinful habits. And to grow closer to you. And closer to your righteousness. But Lord, I also realize this is something that requires endurance. Lord, I pray you give us the endurance to go through this discipline process, to not turn back to our sins once again, but to be with you in righteousness. Lord, you're the one who gives us victory over sin. In this day we pray. Amen.